This is Arts in Depth on WSKG. I'm Bill Snyder. The Geneva Music Festival is presenting the Car Petrova Duo in concert on Friday, March 8th at 6.30 in the Guerin Center for Performing Arts. That's at 299 Pulteney Street in Geneva on the campus of Hobart and William Smith Colleges. And my guests are pianist Anna Petrova and violist Molly Carr. Good morning. What's on the program? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Um, well, we are very excited to present a program that has become um, one of our favorite programs and very near and dear to our hearts because we actually worked on com combining and finding the works and commissioning some of the works uh, for this program. It's called Hers, and it celebrates female composers. Through the centuries, um, we have music that was inspired by Hildegard von Bingen, who was a 13th century uh, Renaissance composer. And we have music that was inspired by Beyonce, uh, who is one of our current pop icons, as probably all of us know. Um, we also have some standard classical music, which is um, written by Clara Schumann and Florence Price and Amy Beach. Um, so there is a combination of all kinds of old and new pieces. We have commissioned, um, I believe, four works on the program uh, by composers and dear friends of ours uh, who are now establishing themselves really well uh, in the in the composition scene, so to speak. So um, we'll have works by Andrea Casarubius um, and Michelle Ross and um, Enrique Eisenman as well as Vivian Funk. Those are our four contemporary composers who will be represented in the program. Specifically, what pieces uh, by uh, Amy Beach and Florence Price will you be doing? Yes, Amy Beach um, has beautiful chamber music and a lot of piano music, actually. As a pianist, I have started to discover her works as well. The piece that we are playing on this program is called Romance. And it's actually written for violin and piano. However, we've stolen it and, and somebody has made already an arrangement for it for viola and piano, and it works just as well. It is a beautiful romantic piece written in the style of the late 19th century um, heightened romanticism. Um, it was one of the pieces that I heard performed on, on violin by Joseph Silverstein and fell in love with the recording and really called Molly right away and said, we have to play this piece. You have to learn the violin if you can't play it on viola. <laughs> um, but she she totally can play it on viola and it's um, very moving. And the Florence Price piece, the Florence Price piece is actually um, also written for violin. It's called Elephant Hands. And it means um, the dance of the elves. It's a short little piece, um, about four and a half minutes, five minutes long. And Molly likes to call this the first Disney tune. And I think she's right. It's very, it's very charming. It's very pretty, um, easygoing. And we like to open our programs with that because it settles the audience into what's about to come, into the more, you know, passionate and heavy stuff later. I know that in uh, 2009, a huge treasure trove of, of unpen, unpublished manuscripts by Florence Price was discovered in a house outside of Chicago. Is that one of those pieces that has just come to light or ha life has, or uh, uh, have, has this been around for a while? This is one of those pieces. Um, it was something that Anna discovered during the pandemic. Um, actually, the two of us were living together, um, playing every day in her living room in our pajamas um, during the pandemic when nothing else was going on. And so we were spent a lot of time trying to um, seek out a uh, new repertoire. And this was one of the pieces that Anna discovered. And um, we thought we saw someone performing it on violin and but, oh my gosh, this is so charming. We have to figure out how to get this, but we couldn't get, we couldn't get the score because the only score existed in manuscript form in the University of Ar um, Arkansas Special Archives. So we had to 
um, make several calls and um, do special deals to try and get this score, um, this manuscript into our fingers. And um, but we ended up getting it. And um, it's actually a, a lot of fun, maybe a little bit frustrating because it's a little hard to read. Um, but we get to play actually off of um, the handwriting, the actual handwriting of Florence Price. So it's been a, a fun a fun journey, and now since we since we started playing it um, and performing it on viola, we've had so many requests um, for the score that now it's it's officially published. It's out in the world, um, and many 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 people are playing it. Um, it's not just in manuscript form now. Tell us about your CD. Yeah, we are going to. So the concert that uh, you were mentioning in the beginning of our talk is actually going to be the official unveiling of our CD. It's on March 8th, which is International Women's Day. And this CD represents the program that we're talking about. It's also called HERS. It has all of these pieces that we're presenting on our concert program recorded and will be premiered on that day it will be made available to the whole world and to the public of Geneva as well. We'll bring the CD with us and we'll present it at the concert and whoever is interested in it can see it, touch it and buy it. <laughs> uh, it has been a project of many, many years of work. Um, as Molly mentioned, we've been collecting music, which we love which then happened to be by female composers. And, and this project of presenting only female composers just happened very naturally. We didn't, we didn't force anything. We didn't try to do a specific project just with female composers. It first happened with music that we really love and with composers that we really wanted to commission. And then we realized, wow, this is so powerful. This, all of these women have such great stories. They've come um, to their realizing their careers through so many struggles. This is wonderful. Let, let's make a, a, an album about that. Let's make a program, a concert program about that. And uh, you mentioned earlier before we were recording that this is a very special concert. Yes, this is a very special concert. It celebrates um, the International Women's Day. Um, it also celebrates the Geneva Music Festival uh, Spring Benefit, which will be an exciting event in itself because uh, people can not only experience our concert, but also hear more about what the Geneva Music Festival is and what they have accomplished. It's a fantastic festival that has been in existence for a very long time now and has transformed the community of Geneva and the Finger Lakes. Um, and I believe the audience is in for a treat with some past apps, desserts, and the phenomenal wine of Herman J. Reamer, um, which is one of the best Rieslings, Riesling wines I've ever tasted. So I'm very excited myself um, to be there. Once again, the Geneva Music Festival is presenting the Car Petrova Duo in a special concert on Friday, March 8th at 6.30 in the Guerin Center for the Performing Arts, which is located at 299 Pulteney Street in Geneva on the campus of Hobart and William Smith Colleges. We hope you like this video and share it with your friends. You can even subscribe to the WSKG uh, public media channel, and you'll be notified when there's a new video up. And my guests have been pianist Anna Petrova and violist Molly Carr. You can find out more at GenevaMusicFestival.com. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for having us.